hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. Ah, yes. It's almost as if I didn't stop playing this game for a month and then come back to it. <laughs> I bet he's seen a lot of changes to Arcadia Bay in his lifetime. What? Eh, he doesn't look that old. No time for chit chat. I'm a millionaire. Yep. Got my lottery ticket right here. Waiting for the bus so I can cash it in. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't, you know, personally be yelling it out to everyone. She looks busy and stressed. Hi. You look lost. Close. Do you know if the bus has come yet? The online schedule isn't working. Not an asshole, guys. I don't know. It runs pretty regularly. I cannot miss this job interview. But I've got to take the bus out of Arcadia Bay to Newport just to find work. Are things that bad here? Where are things good? I can't even afford to live here. Well, good luck. Thanks. I sure need it. Chloe. Mom will feed you. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yes! Wait, did we already took pictures? <laughs> oh, God. Alright, alright, hold on. Hold on. That's clearly what I have to take a picture of. Before I do literally anything else. That sign reminds me of so many times I ate here with Chloe and my family. When we were happy. Okay. There we go. Easy picture. These things will get harder to find. I swear to God, these things will get harder to find as we go through the game. Like, I... Shit you not. If you go to, um... Okay, well, you can't access these because I started a new game, but still. I don't think I've ever found this one. Oh, wait, no, I think I found this one. It might have been... This one that I actually haven't found. No, it was 142 sh shit. Not find that. I don't want to go that way. I swear to God, Alyssa was over here at one point in time. Not this timeline. Another one, though. Maybe. Oh well. He looks like a photo of the classic Arcadia Bay crusty fisherman. Crusty. Good morning. Looks like you're ready to catch some serious fish. I wish, young gal. Arcadia Bay just isn't the same fishing town I grew up in. Talk later, bitch. No, I'm kidding. Has the town changed much? By Neptune's beard, it has. Seems like a lifetime ago when I was king of the harbor. You did good. You did pretty good to have lasted this long. Oh, the fish used to jump onto my boat until the Prescotts and their finance fiends snapped up harbor rights. The Prescotts have a lot of power. They might rename the town Prescott Bay, if that tells you much. They own my school. Crooks gain respect when they put their names on schools and libraries. Let's not get downcast. I hear the fish calling for Bali High. Never forget that old fishermen never die. We just smell that way. I'd love to learn more, but I have to get going. Happy fishing out there. Yo, Max is so fucking positive. Obviously, nobody took my advice. Like, honestly, when you actually make her be positive, she's overly positive, in my opinion. I could never be that positive about anything. I'd be like, damn, man, that fucking sucks. I gotta get going, man. <laughs> There's that dirty RV from the other day. 
doggy. And a man. Uh, stop that. Stop. No barky. Barky. Bark at me. Really, Max? You a bitch, Max. You a bitch. There was something creepy about that guy and his dog. Creepy? I wouldn't think so. Oh, more journal, guys. Guess what we're doing? No, I'm kidding. I'm fucking with you. I wouldn't make you do that. Fire walk with me. Hello, how do you do? Yeah, I do pretty fucking well, man. Newspapers are going to be retro soon. Retro? Excuse me, retro? sir? Can you believe this town? The world is on fire, and our big headline is snow. I can hardly wait for next week's big story. Clouds! Uh... The snow was... The snow was pretty odd. It was right in the middle of a warm, sunny day. Oh, global warming bullshit. It's the Northwest. Snow happens. I keep oh, reading how Arcadia Bay is it. booming. The paper can only talk about that or about missing girls. You mean Rachel Amber? Well, I guess. I bet she ran away because she was bored. Who wouldn't be here? Dude. Why well, I gotta shit talk everything? Hello, lady. Poor woman. I hope it's a shelter for her. Now, there's one thing, actually, about this game. It says you have the option to warn her about the storm, right? But I never could figure out how to Hello. do it. Oh, look at you. A fine example of youth. I bet you're a senior student. Yes, I go to Blackwell Academy. I could tell you're a wise young woman. Why is this bitch stupid? I know stupid. all about Blackwell and this town. Okay, I guess she's not stupid. Obviously, she has to be some kind of smart to have gotten a... <sighs> Drinking water anyway. She obviously had to be some smart, kind of smart to be. Having a scholarship. Arcadia Bay. How long have you lived in Arcadia Bay? A thousand years. I've gone through the same changes as the town. What happened to you? What didn't happen to me? Sometimes you start out in life turned around the wrong way. I married dumb. Made mistakes. Got cheated out of my savings. Lost my home. And now... I hang out here. I'm sorry. Have you ever lived outside of here? Where the hell would I go? I hate the sun and love the mist. I it's might over. be homeless, but Arcadia Bay is still my home. You must know Joyce Price from the Two Whales Diner. She's fed me more than my own family. How's a daughter your age who's always in trouble? Married to a real prick. David Madsen isn't that much of a prick. His name is David Madsen. He told me to get a job once, asshole. Not sure what Joyce sees in him, but he better treat her right. I agree to get a job I thing bet is kind of you a have asshole dirt on the itself. Prescott family. That whole family is dirty. They once done good things for Arcadia Bay. Those days are dead. Lack anything in their way. I know it's somebody who's being threatened by a press card. Then you be their guardian angel, because nothing gets in the way of that family, especially not the law. Hell, they own your school, Blackwell. Almost. I have to go now. Goodbye. How the fuck am I supposed to, like, come talk to me any old time you want, young lady? Listen, it gives me the chance to warn her about the fucking storm. I want to figure out how to do that bullshit. Hello? Oh, look. Yes, I... I could tell... How long have you lived? A thousand. What changes to the town? Once it takes a lifetime to see. There's a lot of beauty here, but a lot of darkness, too. Greedy bastards that ruin this town put people out of work. Out of home. Like me. I'm sorry. 
Have you ever lived... Where? You... She... No, nothing. Have you met Joyce's daughter? Cute girl. Pissed off. I used to see her and her pretty friend, uh, Rachel, around a lot. Oh, now we have the chance to talk about Rachel Amber. Do you Rachel know Amber. anything about Rachel Amber? That missing girl? I know she's missing. And I know she hung out here a bit. Sometimes I'd see her walking, all by herself, deep in thought. Too damn young and pretty to look so worried. Did you talk to her? Once or twice she'd talk to me about trouble in school, wanting to be some model in California. She was always distant, but nice. I pray the poor thing is all right, but you can't save everybody. Speaking of saving people, uh... I bet you have dirt on the press. Right, right, that on. I know somebody. Then you... I have to go and... Really? Really, you guys? Hmm. Peeves me just a tiny bit. Oh well. I know where the fire walk with me is. I bet she's seen Arcadia Bay go through a lot of changes. And secrets. The fuck ever. We're leaving. Man, that smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware uh, makes me feel 13 again. Ew, that guy looks unpleasant. What do you want? I feel like shit. Too much beer, so spare me, please. Just let me suffer quietly. Okay. Fire walk with me. So one thing I can't uh, fix with this new mic is it keeps uh, picking up background noise. It's like static and it sucks. Thank you, redneck poet. Gross. So does your mom. That graffiti has been here forever. So many things. Oh man, I bet that's the same gum from when I was here last. That officer looks nicer than wannabe cop David Madsen. Hello, sir. Hi, young lady. You look a little lost. Never lost. Just hungry and thinking about what to eat. Now, that is a real problem at the uh, Two Wells. I can never decide. Joyce's pumpkin pie or grilled mac and cheese? So many choices to talk about. I guess you're friends with David Madsen. I wouldn't use that word. We know each other. Why do you ask? I feel like if I say he has a reputation, she's gonna say something, like, dickish about him. Like, she's just gonna be a complete bitch. Just curious, though. That That's something I'd say. But then that would stop the conversation altogether. He kinda has a reputation at Blackwell. I have respect for David. He served his country. He found his calling at Blackwell. At the station, we're happy David is exactly where he is. <laughs> Not everybody can be a cop. How well do you know Joyce? I know her delicious grub. Everybody at the station comes here. We take care of this place like it's our own kitchen. And Joyce, like she's our... our mother. So, you know Chloe? Sadly, we all know Chloe down at the station. Mm. Poor Joyce. Just heard she even just got busted with pot in her room. 
No big thing. <laughs> I would not say that to a cop. Oh, it wasn't a big thing. She was smoking it. It's fine. It's not good, but I know about it. I probably ask, like, if I if it was a local cop that I, like, I've talked to once or twice, I'd probably ask who told you. Uh, who told you that? I didn't hear it on the police scanner. Joyce said the weed belonged to Chloe's friend, but I highly doubt that. Joyce didn't tell you who? She wouldn't. Afraid I'd go arrest somebody, as if I would. I'd just tell the loser to stay the hell away from Chloe, or else. <laughs> just kidding. Besides, David Madsen's watching over. Is she a friend of yours? Wait, did I interrupt them in this timeline? I don't think I did. I didn't, did I? I... I don't, I don't think I did. I know her. I know her. Then you know she's a handful. Duh. She, she can pot, be, dude. but she can also be a good friend who shows up when you need her. Bullshit! Sounds like you're a good friend. I wish she would be a great daughter and not cause Joy so much stress. I she have was to a good now. friend once. Enjoy your breakfast. By the way, one thing I can tell you for certain is to stay away from that RV outside. I usually stay away from sketchy parked vehicles. Wise policy. The guy who lives in it, Frank, is pretty sketchy himself. That's all I can say for now. I should finish up my coffee and get to work. Alright, buddy, friend, pal. I wouldn't last one day as a trucker. Those rigs are too damn big. I don't feel like talking right now. I gotta deliver a load of breakfast to my stomach. Over now. Good for you, man. Truckers have such a romantic life. Always on the road. Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. This is my answer. Isn't everything in here within eyesight? I don't care for your tone. You sound like Joyce. How does Joyce sound? Bossy and smartass. Like you. <laughs> Fuck you, dude. Joyce rules. I want to be exactly like her when I grow up. Looks like you're on your way. I've been coming to this dive for three years, and Joyce gives me shit like it's going out of style. That's how she rolls. That's why I worship her every move. Good. I can't wait to see you flipping greasy bacon in a diner when you grow up. Exactly oh, like Joyce. Now you, pardon dude. me while I get back to my coffee. Go fuck yourself. That's a... That's not a terrible job, alright? Listen here, you piece of shit. She's the one that makes your food. You're like she doesn't spit in it. Fucking... Justin is such a mellow dude. Fucking prick. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am. I am always taking photos. I am a camera. You crack me up, Maxter. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? She's flirting School. with him. Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. You're big, so you're not allowed to actually make a uh, big decisions. Wait a fucking minute, Max! You can't just tell people shit. But she didn't know that he told him. She was just like, "I'll start shit up." Fucking Max. Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. Dana did look happy. Hey, Trevor. Holla, Max. By the way, I know you saw me in the dorm. Your face, your face is awkward. Shh. No, man. I didn't see shit. I didn't hear shit. No. Yeah, I saw you coming out of Dana's room. Yeah, and I finally had to tell Justin because, well, he was into her too. How did Justin react? I got him blazed. He was cool. Nobody has secrets in Blackwell anyway. See you in class, Max. Yeah, listen, Max, uh, as I said, uh, you're lucky he was pleased as fuck and he already told him. <laughs> I was extreme luck, alright? Drool. 
want everything. Yes, but that's because I'm hungry and I haven't eaten breakfast. I have problems, clearly. Guitar. Guitar is always better. Kind of sounds like something John and Cash would use, to be honest. Kind of like, um, Ring of Fire, maybe? There she is. A lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But I wish you'd been here to help save Chloe. She got busted yesterday smoking out. Again. I know. Chloe told me that her stepfather hit her. I am sorry that was your introduction to David. I hope you get to know him on your terms, not Chloe's. He's a good man, he just... Yeah, I believe I'm you. sure he is since you married him, but... Don't be so harsh on Chloe. It's good you're here. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. No promises. I know Fuck things you, were hard mess. for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call. Now my folks are in Seattle and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. What do you mean? You chose you right to go thing. here. You moved forward with your life. I did after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. All I'm hearing is that everything is William's fault. Chloe understands. Chloe's changed, bro. Uh, I wouldn't say... I'm, not, I'm trying to figure out what I'd say. Alright, so... I probably would bring some random shit up, like, Chloe's changed, she's a different person, it's fine. I'd say she understands. Chloe understands, she just needs time. I know that sucks for you. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Why? What did Chloe tell you? I mean, it's, it is Chloe's fault, you know, I'm pretty sure, I'm almost 100% sure that if my parents caught me doing something illegal as fuck like that, I'd get hit, alright? <laughs> fuck, even if it wasn't illegal, I might get hit, to be honest. Chloe doesn't have to tell me anything, I just know how David is at Blackwell. Whoa! You know what happened, David slapped Chloe. Fucked up. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. Seriously? He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. No, listen, alright? He had. It's not, and it wasn't even the weed! She was talking shit about you marrying him, and then he literally told him to get out of her life and your life, alright? She deserved to get hit. Seriously. I'm just saying. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people. Especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? Bacon omelet. I wouldn't go for the waffle. I was dreaming about your bacon omelet. Now finish your coffee. I don't drink coffee. Can I not? One bacon omelet for the young lady staff. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. 
I wish I could stay in this moment forever. You could. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. That's awkward thinking. It'd be a moment in time, yes. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. Some beer and beer Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. Not a bar. No beer? <laughs> Looks like you had plenty. Stick with the bacon. Oh yes, black coffee. You will be mine. I don't I don't drink coffee. Do I like have to? No beer? What what kind of dive is this? Max, you do not need coffee. There it is. Ah, we I have a choice. your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. Thank you. I'm drooling like a babe. Can I have some water? Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Oh. Speaking of water. Mm, speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. No, you're not. This is my treat to you for coming back to rescue my daughter. Nobody needs to rescue me. Whoa, wait, no. Unless you Yeeny set your babe. room on fire smoking out. Woo! Oh, God, here it comes. Didn't you and Sergeant Pepper already read me the riot act last night? Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. It's hilarious. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Uh, I put it on. Don't change it. You bitch. Now that that's out of the way. Really? Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation. And I can't explain uh, why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I don't really like I that music. I want proof you can rewind time. To be honest. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. Alrighty. Uh, I'm trying to. I know she doesn't have chewing gum. Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. Pretty sure she has like a panda keychain. Yeah, it's not giving me it. I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and Panicky don't forget chain. anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven cigarettes. Oh god. Uh, Seventy-five. Eighty. <laughs> 86 cents. Alrighty. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I promise I'll never do that again, guys. 100%. Alright. Oh, no, no, no. This is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. Cigarettes. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven. Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Uh, 
parking ticket. A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? Fuck. Shit. <laughs> Guys, I promise I'm not an idiot. Uh, I didn't look at that detail. 11, 10 a.m.? That is so wrong. Okay, psychic girl. Fuck you! I had it! Give me which one look. Okay, Max. Study every item Fuck carefully and don't forget it. anything. 10.35 for... Son of a bitch. Partially angry about that one. Because I saw it too, and I was like, mm, probably because it's the only one that actually stands out. Okay, Mac. A parking ticket. You know me well. 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. What? It, of course. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yeah. What do you mean, whatever the hell that means? It means... Seven like, cigarettes. It's, no matter what, a it's gonna be that, that exact you to count time cigarettes. twice a day. Cool. Amazing. Dumbass. Your car keys. Duh, wait. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? Caulfield, is that an Irish name? Mm -hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? <laughs> Clearly I'm rich as fuck. 86 cents. I counter that 86 bitch. 86 cents. That's right. Living large in Arcadia Bay. I could have been extremely lucky. Amazing you don't know. I literally just got chills all over my neck. I could have been lucky. You have no idea. Like, you I'm an extremely powers. lucky guy. No luck. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. What the fuck do you Man, mean I'm hungry save? like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No oh, refill for you. Dumbass. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Don't sweat me, bitch. All right, I think that's all that's gonna happen. Yes. I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. Alrighty. The trucker drops his mug, and Joyce rips him a new one. So, what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and he quickly exits the diner. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Fuck you! I didn't mean fucking shit! Justin and Trevor are fighting, and Joyce breaks it up. Yes, you still need to tell me one more event, Max. Oops! Dude, Dude did you, you right. break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! Well, now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a I think don't not, slap Max. Me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That is wild. That's the best. 
this song I've heard This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? Okay, well, I think that's a signal for me to, uh, pull the fuck back. Alright. I'm going to predict. Trevor Jack's mug. The trucker drop. So, what happened? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio, and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Just an intro. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. Uh... The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Badass. Don't just watch your mother awkwardly, all right? Oops. Did you break you another cup? Oh, really? really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. But he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You know what? This isn't a Good. toy, Chloe. Fuck I you. do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! No, of course don't. it's a toy. The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Wow. Grow up. <laughs> Maybe you made that's a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind Always. time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't I have, have time. to play. You don't have to play. You did not just say that. That's uh, hilarious. Check out your nose. Too much blow? Yes. Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. Well, this happened because of my power. To guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Uh, dude, you didn't even finish your fucking breakfast. You're the kind of person that pisses me off. <laughs> whenever I'm at, whenever I'm at, I'm at the restaurant, people just like leave shit. I mean, at least she ate it, though. At least she ate some of it. Can I go in the back room? I think I'm ready for thirds. But you're only on your first. My stomach plans ahead. Your stomach is stocking up for winter. I'd love to lecture you over coffee, but I prefer to drink in silence and solitude. Whatevs, man. Oh, wait, I wanted to talk to these guys. Hey, why are why, you why hurting each other? See you around, Max. Let's talk later when I'm not so hot. Weird lady. I always wonder what people think about when I eat alone. Hey, what you thinking about? Hello there to you. Well, Such okay. a beautiful day, eh? Oh yeah, it's gonna be a super day. Enjoy your breakfast, eh? Let's let's never just speak to this woman ever again. Did you catch any big ones today? If by big you mean none, then sure. I caught a lot of big ones today. Now let me mourn over my eggs. You're, uh, you're, you're just a 180 degree kind of pissed off. So, we're gonna leave this episode here. 30 minutes or more. I want to play more. <laughs> but I, I also need to eat breakfast. So I will be 